highly dynamic applications, slow and constant movement, mass balancing. The cylinder DSBC and its low friction variants cover the entire range. Each cylinder has its own application field, but which cylinder is the right one? Find out more in today's video of Engineering to See. In our setup, we will compare the four cylinders. If we increase the pressure, the three low friction cylinders start much earlier. This is because they have a lower breakaway pressure. During the movement, they behave very differently. The cylinder DSBC-L is very dynamic, while the cylinders U and L1 move slowly and constantly. Let's look in detail at how the individual cylinders behave at startup and during the movement. The standard DSBC is jerky at the start. The stick-slip effect that characterizes this jerky movement is very pronounced. Its movement is very dynamic. The DSBCU starts very gently. Its movement is very undynamic. The DSBCL is jerky at the start. Its movement is very dynamic. The DSBC L1 starts gently. Its movement is moderately dynamic. This cylinder has another special feature. It has hardly any hysteresis. This means that the friction is constant, independent of the working pressure. The same low force is therefore always required for the up and down movements, as well as for fast to slow movements. Let's take a closer look at how the cylinders are designed. The DSBC standard cylinder has a different piston to the low friction variants. The standard cylinder has polyurethane seals, abbreviated PU, while the U and L versions use a friction optimized fluoroelastomer, abbreviated FKM. The DSBC U and DSBC L have the same piston and the same seal materials. The only difference between the two cylinders is the grease. The DSBCU uses a viscous grease. The piston is permanently suspended in the grease and therefore starts very quickly. The resistance during the movement remains relatively high because of the viscosity of the grease. The cylinder is therefore only suitable for slow movements. Brief interruptions and restarts do not pose a problem. The DSBCL uses a thin grease. At rest, the sealing lips of the piston displace the grease and touch the cylinder barrel. It then needs more pressure to overcome the static friction and the piston jerks when it starts to move. Once the piston is moving, the resistance is low. This makes the cylinder extremely dynamic. It has the lowest frictional losses during movement and therefore heats up less in high frequency applications. The DSBC L1 has a special piston with a single sealing lip. The grease viscosity of the L1 cylinder is between that of the DSBC L and U. Having a single sealing lip results in a low breakaway pressure good slow speed characteristics, and a relatively good dynamic response. It is optimized for mass balancing. The single sealing lip is not as effective at balancing lateral forces, which results in greater wear to the piston. The DSBC L1 is therefore not suitable for applications involving lateral forces. What are the individual cylinders suitable for? The DSBC-U is suitable for slow movements with constant speed. 
Brief interruptions do not pose a problem. The DSBCL is suitable for all applications that require a dynamic movement at speeds greater than 50 millimeters per second. If the cylinder stops, the relatively high breakaway pressure means that the movement will inevitably be jerky when it restarts. The DSBC L1 is suitable for oscillating movements and is optimized for load balancing. Up and down movements, as well as fast or slow movements, always need the same low force. This is used, for example, as a manual balancer in automotive production for positioning heavy yet delicate parts, also called a mass balancing or an air spring. If you are interested in our products, take a look at our configurator. We are looking forward to your visit. Until next time.